Good morning, friends and neighbors, and welcome to Soundbites with Bill Wood, a certified lay minister at St. Paul's United Methodist Church here in El Paso, Texas, where our mission is to love God, follow Jesus, and serve others. And again, if you have any joys or prayer requests, please send them to the St. Paul's email address so that we might rejoice with you and pray with you. So if you would, join me in prayer now. Heavenly Father, we pause now and take a deep breath. We come into your presence knowing that you will minister to us as we open our hearts and our minds to you. And we thank you for this assurance. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you would, open your Bibles to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and read along with me as I read this chapter. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. To the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. We always thank God for you, all of you, mentioning you in our prayers. We continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power with the Holy Spirit, and with deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord in spite of, the, of severe suffering. You welcomed the message with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. And you became a model to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia. Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it, for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom... He raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. Paul, in this first chapter, after his usual greeting to the church, is giving thanks for their faithfulness and praising them for their steadfastness, despite the opposition that they are encountering. Paul is lifting them up by praising them prior to addressing the problem that has been reported to him. And I believe that he thought it better to offer praise and encouragement before mentioning the problem. Perhaps this is a principle for all of us to adhere to when we need to address a problem. And as I mentioned last week, Paul's visit to Thessalonica was very short because the Jews were very unhappy with his sharing the gospel and the manner in which he did this. Paul was concerned that his departure was so quickly and that their receiving the gospel might not have had a lasting impact on their life. Paul, in verse 3, is telling them that he is proud of their faith, love, endurance, and hope. The fact that the Gentiles in Thessalonica accepted the gospel so quickly and held on to it reminds me of Jesus' statement in Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 through 38, which reads, Jesus went through all of the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. And we saw the crowds. He had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. The Gentiles were ready for a change of lifestyle, and their faith reflected that readiness, and Paul is praising them for it. 
According to William Barclay in verse 3, Paul picks out three great ingredients of a Christian life. There is work, which is inspired by faith. Nothing tells us more about a person than their worth ethics. They may work out of fear of losing their job, or they may work for the hope of gain, and they may work out of a grim sense of duty, or they may work inspired by faith. Their faith in the fact that the task was given them by God, and they are working not for men, but for God. The second ingredient is this, in this verse is work which is prompted by love. When we are working because of our love for something or our love for someone, it is not considered work, but labor for the glory of it. The third ingredient then is endurance, which is founded in hope. We can endure almost anything as long as we have hope. Hope for the future, hope for our children or grandchildren, or hope for better times. Do we exhibit these ingredients in our life? In verse 4 and 5, Paul reminds them that God has chosen them. Listen again to Paul's words. For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply in words, but also with power and with the Holy Spirit and with deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord. In spite of the severe suffering, you welcomed the message with the joy of with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. And so you became a model to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. That same power and Holy Spirit is available for us today, and we need to allow this power and Holy Spirit to be reflected in all that we do and in all that we say. Then in verse 8 through 10, Paul tells them, The Lord's message rang out from you not only in Macedonia and Achaia. Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it. For they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell us how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. Our faith in God should be reflected in all that we do and in all the places that we go. And we should also wait and anticipate the return of God's Son, Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, I have enjoyed sharing with you this morning, and I hope that God has ministered to you during our time together. So have a blessed week. Go in peace.